Hello and welcome back, fellow Buperians. And when we make City of Skylines videos, we normally make horrible mistakes. Um, but they usually aren't on purpose. But today, we are going to be making the most ridiculous city design of all time. This is the one road that we are going to be allowed to make somewhat normally. Because every road from now on is going to be basically a binary tree. Which means whenever we build a road... It needs to split off from another road in exactly two branches, meaning that this city is going to be <laughs> the least efficient traffic <laughs> of all time. It's going to be so ridiculous. <laughs> but, you know, it's a pretty easy way to get back to the highway because there's always only two choices to go. There's only three-way intersections in this city, and it only gets more and more complex. How is our binary tree or uh, just continually splitting uh, city going to do? Who knows? That branch there got actually cut off. Okay, that's enough for residential for now. And over here we'll start some industrial branches. This is going to be great. The city where every road must be split. So, as I was saying, this is going to be very interesting to see. Like, emergency services, if the emergency services here has to go do, 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 do to get over there. There's no way to go around. Everything is going to be so inefficient. It's going to be beautiful. Ah. Uh, the beauty of inefficiency. We're just going to put that over there just because it's going to be easier. Because we have to dump sewage. And that one would be very nice to be next to the buildings. And this is just gonna jump off of here, because it can. Okay, fantastic. Let's get some electricity. We'll throw this up here. And we will connect to the center point-ish of the branches, I guess. We'll go like this. That'll get every single industry at once. Look at that. That is skill. And now, we have pretty much uh, begun the worst, literal worst, road system in City Skylines. Binary roads. Everything splits into two. Only two options. I'm sure everyone's going to hate me. That didn't connect for some reason. Wow, that's impressive. It's impressive how close I got to it without it actually being correct. It's like a quiz. Okay, and we can fit a bit more. So I guess we're just going to continue the tree. Although, oh my god, this is so inefficient when it comes to space. Okay, we can do this, then we can do this. Beautiful! This is going fantastically. What could possibly go wrong with such a scheme? Um, going to work is slightly challenging for these people because they have to walk literally. If they live over here, there's no walking to work. You gotta walk all the way down here, down here, down here, down here, up here, and then to work. Which is going to cause some issues because the further out we build, the further away they are from their jobs. Yikes. Didn't think about that one. And we've already begun branching it, so there's no real way to make it closer. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we need a fire department, which I guess is most efficient to put it at the uh, central branches of the tree. Uh, medical. Because then they don't have to do many splits. That cuts it in half, the amount of work they have to do. Oh god, we're gonna need heating. The amount of electricity these people are using is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, as it stands... As it stands, things are looking pretty good. I mean, the population is rising, traffic hasn't gotten too bad. I mean, it's actually quite simple. With every single intersection being a three-way intersection, you don't really have to stop, uh, slow down even at the intersections. Just kinda go. Which is good news for traffic, which is still at 86% flow. 87%. This is the only real issue. 
Ignoring the amount of wasted space, this is actually working pretty well. People are moving in very quickly. Um, I mean, the range of services is a problem as well. That That's one of the big issues. Oh my god. Okay, we're a tiny town already. This is going really quickly, I'll be honest. It really takes a lot of the uh, work out of city planning. Everyone has a giant backyard, which the backyards are actually pretty even in size. They're all just really big. <laughs> I don't think anyone's complaining, though. The industry isn't doing terribly because they have a straight shot, straight shot to get onto the highway. The only issue is workers. I think it would be cheating to add any methods of transportation other than cars. Uh, if we built a subway system, this would work really effectively. We just have to put a subway on like this, this, and this, and then everyone would be able to go to their work extremely easily. This may actually be a legitimate style of city. Here's the problem. Here it is. This road now has so much congestion, it's getting backed up. Because look at just how many people are going down it. Now what we can do to try and mitigate the situation is make the road much heavier and raise the speed limit by making it heavier. Let's see if that helps at all. We haven't actually really added many lanes yet. We can probably make this better too. Let's make these actually properly merge into one. Uh, we'll do four lane from this one going out like this and four lane from this one going Okay, so that's that's a little bit better. So now that's okay, so that that did make it more efficient. That did. That certainly does give a little bit more so they aren't getting completely collected. But the problem is these guys have to go around here as well. So maybe we just make the roads a little bit more dense. You're probably seeing the issue here. Because they make the roads more dense. It's only so dense we can make the roads. <laughs> and it's kind of murdering all the industry and stuff over here. The City of Branches. I think that's what I'm going to name it. The City of Branches. Because that's really what it is. It's a city that just basically functions like it has branches. Here we go. Ready? City of Branches. Let's see if we can make it any more interesting. I mean, this traffic here is kind of bad, but let's see if we can improve it with a roundabout. Let's see if we put that roundabout in. So sadly, we kill this one thing here, and we cut this back a little bit. And now we add a large roundabout. So we can even do, like, highway, but I don't really want to. Let's do this. So we'll go... We'll go 15. Yeah, that works. 15 by 15. Okay, and now we just zone this all commercial because it's a roundabout, and I love zoning commercial roundabouts for some reason. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see if this roundabout simplifies things. Will it solve the traffic problems? Possibly, because these guys can just continue going if they want to. And if we add more branches, they can just go in the center lanes. Right? At least that's the plan. I think that actually is working really well. Oh, great. There's our heart. Fantastic. And average traffic flow is back up to 84%. 83, 84. This is still the worst part. But, I don't think it'll get much worse than it is right now. Because now what we do, is we start another main branch. Will they be able to take the services, and will they be able to function properly? Being branched off of that roundabout. And I think the answer will be a resounding yes! Sally, like I said before, there's only so many lanes we can add to the roundabout and stuff. And there's only so far we can go out doing this before the traffic will get just completely ridiculous. But you could connect multiple systems like this together, I guess. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. But look at how quickly they're building up. It's just, it's kind of awesome. I really like this uh, style. It's very different. Very different for a city. It's like branching out. 
it grows stronger. <laughs> and then, like, this industrial section, even though the industrial sections usually have, like, the worst... Uh, I wonder if we should just connect that over here so that it doesn't share. It would probably be smart. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually... going to do this. This is my plan. We're going to connect this so that it's still following the rules, but we're going to do it like this. So now that's the branch. So now it's not like a really complicated intersection here. I mean, these intersections are kind of close together, but that's not the end of the world. They may be a little bit too close together, but that's better than the alternative, which is clogging up the entire thing. Well, look, the people who are going over here don't really have an issue because they can just zip by on that lane. These people eventually get through. As long as this doesn't get... Mmm, it is getting backed up. I think we kind of have to redesign this industry area. I, I think the smart thing to do would be just to kind of completely rip down this industry area. I like how they're happy that we're removing their roads. It's like, yay! We're being removed! <laughs> and do the water just like everywhere else. And the electricity is always going to be carried across because guess what? They're all connected. I wonder how much population you could fit into something like this. I mean, there is a hypothetical limit where you're going so far away from the heart part of it that uh, the traffic just gets too bad. Or the entire system just starts to fail, but... You know, when you look at... Oh my god, they are really building up quickly. When you look at this, I wonder how far you can push it. Like, is this the furthest it can grow? Is this the maximum? Or could we just keep adding on and making this go out further and further? But you guys can experiment with that on your own if you want to build a city in this style. Look at that. By putting it over here... Pretty much all of those issues with traffic, although this is now inside of a road, which is bad for other reasons, uh, but there we go, that's better. That actually solved it. Now they're going straight into here. It is not clogging up the road, actually. These guys go into the center lanes to go around to leave. Average traffic flow is at... 76 percent 80 ish percent which i mean we're at 4,000 population so that's that's not great but considering the shape at which the city is built that's better than i thought i thought this was going to become an absolute mess and instead it's becoming an actual viable city style imagine if we not only did this now now watch this this is this is just next level ridiculousness. If we wanted to increase throughput, all we have to do is make a stronger heart of the city. And that's rather simple. We do this. We go to the center of here. Six. Six by six is halfway, I think. Look at this. If we pull this off properly, it makes things so much easier, because now we have a second circle in the middle, and if we grab one way, we can just go up, and like, okay, that looks a little bit weird, but it does give opportunity for the trucks. Okay, that is really broken. I've never seen something like that. Um, hello? City Skylines, you are currently just so broken. Oh my god. Oh my god, why are you doing this? Why are you choosing this? Oh, there we go! Okay. We've almost got it. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's make it just kind of more circular. Because for some reason it's really broken. Okay, let's keep pulling that in. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not quite as bad. Look at that. Now, these guys can just go straight around here on this second roundabout, which is also going to be going in the correct direction. 
Why are you not leaving? <laughs> why, why did you choose to go around in a circle that many times? Oh, because those can only go left. Why though? Why would it do that? Why would it choose that? That's the worst design ever. Okay, that's better. So they're not stuck on the lane anymore. Great. No, they're still going around in a circle. Why is that all left? I don't understand. That's so weird. Oh, I guess because that can only go that way. But why are they trying to like... Why are they going in a circle? I don't understand the purpose of it. Maybe they're just broken. I'm going to assume they're just broken. But now those guys can go very easily back. And these guys... If we do the same thing again... I mean, this is kind of bending the rules of the challenge. So you can decide whether or not this is cheating. But I think if we're going by biology, you need a strong central area. The arteries of the city, the heart. Because then we can pump way more, way more traffic through here. Actually, if we ban heavy traffic on here and just let it through here, we'd actually have pretty much no issues. But we can't really because they need to bring stuff to the, uh... They need to bring stuff to the commercial areas. So I guess that's not really possible. But it's not really holding up traffic that much anyways because anyone who wants to uh, get to their house or something can just take the left lane. I don't know if they're actually doing that though because it's city skylines and the people are kind of dumb. Who knows? Probably if I just made the circle bigger rather than smaller, they would have chosen to go through that instead. But you know what? I think that that is a good test run for this. I think it's pretty creative. I think it looks pretty great. So if you guys like my uh, biology-inspired city, uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. This is Spike Viper. I hope to see you in the future. Bye! I like it. It looks pretty neat. It's kind of like a heartbeat as well with the traffic stopping and going, but I think I'm reading too far into it.